All right. Just adjust a little bit. There we go. <sighs> this is, um, hmm. This is going to be a night. There's going to be... This is definitely going to be a thing. Eight minutes before we get ten. So I'm just gonna chill until we we reach that point. going to be a, um, a lackluster night for myself. This is a uh, franchise I really haven't cared about that I'm not looking forward to. Kind of, kind of <laughs> don't want to do this. It isn't the, um, the jump scares necessarily. Actually, I guess it kind of is. Because to me, a game's how, how scary it is should, should run on um, a certain element of, of uh, creep factor, buildup of... I don't, I don't know how to put it. And... Um, something popping up on the screen and making a loud noise is not not my cup of tea but it's a popular game or the franchise is and I wound up with this one so I guess I might as well. I'm sure somebody out there would like to see me lose my shit over this. minutes Ooh.
<sighs> this is going to be a um, I'm going to know what it feels like for the uh, angry video game nerd playing through all this uh, he, he has to go through you know so many games or play uh, awful games so many times to get to get uh, playthrough footage. Um, I think I'm going to be getting a taste of that life. Um, I guess you could say I'm asking for trouble with this. Yeah, that's it, Alex. Go out on the internet and say you don't care for a beloved franchise. <sighs> but. <sighs> What can I do? That's the way it is. Or the way it be. Um, I don't know. I'm not saying it's bad. It just doesn't suit me, I guess. We'll see. I mean, to be fair, I haven't really played it before. Um, it's never appealed to me. So maybe I'll like it. Maybe it won't be a big deal. Yeah, I'm gonna have to open a window. It's already getting warm in here. Stupid me, I should have got some updates going on a, on a computer I've been working on earlier. I haven't done by now, but... but <coughs> I didn't. Oh well. But I got one system done today. So that's good. Something else too. Shit. Everything's been going sideways for me lately. Well, okay, I should, that, that's not right. That's been going sideways. I've just been a little bit, a little bit overloaded. close enough. Oh no, it is. It is time. So let's get the shit show rolling, shall we? Scary blinky blinky. I did start playing this a little bit uh, earlier this evening to familiarize myself with some of the controls. Uh, 
because I was concerned that going in blind, I was going to have no clue what I was doing. Are we? Damn, that desktop audio seems really loud. Hold on. Yeah, let's turn that down a bit. There. That seems reasonable. It looks like I lagged up for a minute while I adjusted that, but no big deal. Ugh. until we have somebody in so we don't so we don't miss the the beginning but uh, at this point it looks like it's not gonna happen not gonna happen so um, actually let me give that a refresh make sure that my my chat synced up am I stalling no but a little bit yeah just a little bit And uh, pretty much everything I do here, I'm going to um, give it a couple of tries. And if I'm if I'm dragging and nothing's happening, then um, then I'm going to look up uh, certain hints. Um, a lot of stuff I, I like to try and figure out myself, but you know if. If this is dragging to the, the extent where, you know, it's going to be the same thing over and over and over again, um, I, uh, I'll probably get frustrated and not, not want to put everybody else through that, so we'll just, um, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, okay, shall we then? Now that I think about it, it would probably take like a ton of work, but if there was a way to, to make Halloween costumes like this, I mean, with the amount of momentum it has, that'd be awesome, especially if you have like the sort of pop-out, pop-open effect. Alright, new game start. with their keypad. What if I don't want to be Mike? U-T-X-E-W We'll see if I can just make it quap.
Where's the P? It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto correct it for you. One moment. Welcome, X Benedict. I do like X Benedict. Hello, the big trucker ninety six. Uh, trying out a new game for trying out a franchise for the first time. How's your evening going? Hello? Um, there we go. Allow me to fill this somewhat frightening silence with some light-hearted banter. Due to the massive success and even more so the unfortunate closing of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, it was clear that the stage was set, no pun intended, for another contender in children's entertainment. Unlike most entertainment venues, our robotic entertainers are rented out for private parties during the day. And it's your job to get the robots back in proper working order before the following morning. You are now in the primary control module. It's actually a front space between the two front showrooms. Now, let's get started with your daily tasks. View the window to your left. This is the Ballora Gallery party room and dance studio, encouraging kids to get fit and enjoy pizza. Let's turn on the light and see if Ballora is on stage. Press the blue button on the elevated keypad to your left. Uh, my day's been going good. Um, uh, out of all the horror games um, I am playing for October, this is the one I am actually dreading the most. Uh-oh. It looks like Ballora doesn't feel like dancing. Let's give her some motivation. Press the red button now to administer a controlled shock. Maybe that will put the spring back in her step. Because that's what all uh, animatronics need. Let's check the light again. Excellent. Valora is feeling like her old self again and will be ready to perform again tomorrow. Now view the window to your right. This is the Funtime Auditorium, where Funtime Foxy encourages kids to play and share. Try the light. Let's see what Funtime Foxy is up to. I actually haven't cared about the franchise at all. Like, it just wasn't my thing. Um, and <laughs> in, in all honesty, the biggest reason I'm, I'm going through this one is because uh, I got it for free in a bundle, so... Um, Looks like Funtime Foxy is taking the day off. Let's motivate Funtime Foxy with a controlled shock. Let's try another control shock. I, I, I do not think this is the best way to work on electronics. Looks like Funtime Foxy is in perfect working order. Great job. In front of you is another bench shaft. Crawl through it to reach the circus gallery control module. Different doesn't matter. I haven't played the previous ones. And uh, also, good evening to Jacob7575 and Flutter-98. Broken elevator and air shafts connecting different rooms. Can't even call them crawl spaces. They're just air shafts. On the other side of the glass is Circus Baby's Auditorium. Let's 
check the light and see what baby is up to. Circus baby. Looks like a few of the lights are out, but we can fix that later. Let's encourage baby to cheer up the control junk. Let's try another control junk. Let's try another control chunk. Great job, Circus Baby. We knew we could count on you. That concludes your duties for your first okay. job. We don't want you to leave overwhelmed, otherwise you might not come back. Please leave using the vent behind you, and we'll see you again tomorrow. You know, I'm sorry, but just don't go don't go bash in other people's interests, please. Shift complete. Popcorn, nice. stimulation, pivotal career choices, and self-reflection on past mistakes. We're committed to creating a unique and fulfilling work experience. One part of that commitment is ensuring that you don't get tired of the voice that you're hearing right now. Using the keypad below, please select a new companion voice. For male, press 1. For female, press 2. For text only, press 3. For other options, press 4. Press mic? No. How about C? It seems that you had some trouble no. with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for Big Trucker 96, you uh, trying to push the envelope? Just trolling? I hoping? if you wouldn't mind so, not funny story a dead body was found in this vent once okay so not that funny but it's a story 
It's a story. Yeah, certain features of Twitch are lacking. I think they're trying to fix all the bugs from the oh, yeah. beta. Let's start with your nightly chores. You should check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage, but whatever. Huh. I guess Ballora has better things to do. Let's zap her. That should be fun. Those sound effects remind me of something from a Super Nintendo game. It doesn't matter. I honestly, I just don't want that kind of interaction in the chat. That's all there is to it. Because it doesn't seem like that was working. <laughs> Great. Is the Rick in response to the belch? I hope so. Thank you. Busy day today. Let's check the light and make sure she's in proper working order. Apparently, nobody fixed the light since oh, yesterday. Baby. We aren't here to play hide and seek. Let's encourage baby to come out of hiding with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. There seems to be a power malfunction that is affecting our ability to properly motivate baby. Please stand by while I reboot the system. I will be offline momentarily during this process. Various other systems may be offline as well, such as security doors, vent locks, and oxygen. Commencing system restart. Oh, I guess we're just waiting then. This person seems helpful, at least. Under the desk. inside. I 
I hear you. Oh, hey, wait a minute now. Back to close. Did I, did I close it? I guess I did. Okay. This is not your desk, thank you. It's my hiding cave, thank you. Always find a way inside? Oh, hey now. Oh, no, no.
you will now be required to crawl through the Ballora Gallery using the vent to your left to reach the breaker room. It is recommended that you stay low to the ground and reach the other side as fast as possible as to not disturb Ballora. I will deactivate myself momentarily as to not create an auditory disturbance. Deactivating. It seems you are taking a long time. Please proceed as quickly and as quickly really? as possible. say I'm I'm getting it down I'm moving I mean, um, man, how big is this door? looks huge. I'm supposed to be crawling. Okay, I, I get it. Still, it just looks like monstrous big. We have all the different breaker areas.
Calm down, buddy. Okay, so it resumes from the last point it was at. That's cool. his voice it actually sounds like fun Oh. Right as I put it down, too. Disappointment. You will now be required to crawl through the Ballora Gallery using the vent to your left to reach the Breaker Room. It is recommended that you stay low to the ground and reach the other side as fast as possible as to not disturb the aura. I will deactivate myself momentarily as to not create an auditory disturbance. Deactivating. If you gotta say it, then say it. <laughs> Excuse me.
No, I mean, like, that's why I kept saying, like, I don't think I'm going to care for the the friend. <coughs> I've never had an interest in the franchise. It's just, like, I'm focused on what I'm doing, and then, like, there's just that one moment that... It seems you are taking a long time. Oh, wait a minute. Proceed as quickly and as quietly as possible. The whole goal is to not be detected because of noise, but when his big booming voice echoes across the entire area, that means, like, I can run. interface with the breaker control box. Using the interface may disrupt nearby electronics. If you feel you are in danger, feel free to disconnect the interface temporarily until it is safe to reconnect. Where are you at, Stink Master Jenkins? Hi! Gotta get Freddy to meet a, a weeping angel at some point. He just sounds so happy! Um, I'm planning on playing it all the way through tonight. Beyond that, I don't know. Thought I had made some progress on that one. No surprise for me.
chilling there, buddy? Okay, okay. Hi! Freddy is squirrel-handed. Fazbear is a weird name. Where you at, buddy? Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, if it reaches a point where I'm, like, not making any progress and things are just stagnating, then, yeah. Oh, I might bounce out and do something else. button personal bubble Freddy no offense I appreciate the gesture no hugs right now though thank you Does that mean I need to be all sneaky sneak again?
Oh, okay. Um, give me a minute, and I'll I'll do that. As the sun sets, so also does another chapter in the saga of love lost between Vlad and his distressed mistress. Can they be reconciled? Can their love rise again? Yeah, I want popcorn now. Popcorn. Um, there was music at the uh, the Welcome back to another pivotal. Oh shit! It's so really ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? What would my friends say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? <laughs> we understand the stresses of a new job, and we're here for you. To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we offer several musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. We offer contemporary jazz, classical, rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Using the keypad below, please type the first few letters of the musical selection you would prefer. It seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for selecting... Casual Bongos. Now that your elevator experience has been customized to your needs, and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, your pay has been decreased by a substantial amount. Please enjoy the rest of your descent. <laughs> Not quite sure what was lackluster. It's not like we need to get a certain number of burgers out to to meet a quota. Okay, let's... Cursor, Cursor, you're still stuck in the window! What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! I can't! Oh shit, I'm sorry, um... Wow. Uh, I have a problem. I, I cannot move my mouse cursor outside of the game window, even when I minimize everything. It's stuck in there. Uh, shit. I... <laughs> this is, this is actually really fucking hilarious. Um... No, I already did that. Like, if I if I condense the entire... Like, if I use Alt-D and minimize everything, just go to the desktop. The cursor stays in the middle, and when I try to move it, it moves and then re-centers. I literally can't, like... it. Uh, I'm going to need to close the game to change the audio levels in OBS. Um, give me a moment. That's hilarious.
welcome back to another pivotal night of your thriving new career where you get to really ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? What would my friends say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? We understand. So, how's it sound now? And we're here for you. To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we offer several musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. We offer contemporary jazz, classical, rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Using the keypad below, please type the first few letters of the music. It seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for selecting Casual Bongos. Now that your elevator experience has been customized to your needs and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, your pay has been decreased by a substantial amount. Please enjoy the rest of your descent. I actually really enjoy the casual bongos. I think they sound nice. Are the audio levels okay? Is everything good? Are we set? I like smooth jazz. I'm asking about the audio levels, not the background music. I can't help that shit. What do you want? Are the audio levels okay? Do I need to close the game and reinstate the, the casual bongos at a higher volume? It's okay. I take a minute and maybe it'll respond. We'll, we'll see. No. All right. All right. If you say so. But you know, when the next level starts, I can go and turn it up again a bit. From today's shows, your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may not be skilled enough to perform. It became necessary for technicians to attempt to disconnect Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. Let's check on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. And administer the shocks. I like the voices of the characters. Literally, they all sound friendly. Well, she's technically on her stage. It looks like everything is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. It's important to make sure she's on her stage before entering. Great. It looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. There is no need to check on Baby tonight. Please refrain from entering unauthorized areas. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. Well, what do you think, guys? Do I do I go to the parts or do I try to go to baby first? Well you decide that. I'm going to pee. Apparently it won't kill the feed to the uh, the camera now either. Man, this thing really fucks with my shit. Oh well, I'll be right back. Wait, wait, what?
I'll be right back. Oh, it's okay. Um, so, yeah. I mean, you have Freddy, who's like way in the maintenance closet, and then you have the three animatronics that <coughs> you're supposed to be maintenancing. Um, Ballora, which is the ballerina, I'm guessing. Uh, Funtime Foxy. And Circus Baby, um, which we haven't seen yet. And uh, they said, you know, stay away from unauthorized areas. So this is the point where, you know, they're saying don't go there, but the door opened. So we can go where we're supposed to go, or we can try and go in, you know, where, where we have the opportunity to right now. <coughs> Actually, you know what? Executive decision. If, uh, if we have to deal with casual bongos again, that's fine. I want to find out what's down there. screaming for a moment, but only for a moment. 
Then other children rushed in again, but they couldn't hear her over the sounds of their own excitement. I still hear her sometimes. Why did that happen? There's a cutscene at the beginning asking the creator of these animatronics why he built them the way he did. And somebody's saying, like, we're not exactly happy with your design. And, um, you know, we have some, some questions about your choices. And um, he's going, why? They can sing, they can take song requests, they can make ice cream. And they go, that's not what we're talking about. And then it doesn't go any further. And that, along with the, the young girl... Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. Boy, it would be nice if it wasn't just like continuing to pop at the bottom of the screen. I thought this was the fifth one. Some giant cupcakes for your face! No, not that. Not the RPG thing. Um, I was looking it up, and there's like one, two, three, four, and then sister location. Oh, hey, I didn't have to start all the way from the beginning. Go figure. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings, and to ensure you don't bump into anything. 
Well, that ended real fast, didn't it? No, no more game? I don't, I don't know. I just know that I went on Steam and it was 1, 2, well, it wasn't 1, 2, 3, 4, it was 1, 3, 4, 2, and then sister location. Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark. As I was really hoping that if I just ran through while he was still giving his rant, that um, just nothing would happen. You know. Like, because it's still tutorial dialogue bullshit. Okay, goal reached. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings, and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. Oh, did I make it? Looks like I made it. Motion trigger, parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. I'm not seeing a button. Oh, his right. This is ambiguous. 
they mean his right? Do they mean his actual right? Or do they mean his cheek on your right side? Or do they mean his butt? Great. Now locate the button under his left cheek and press it. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. Good job. The face plates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Good job. The face plates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. That? Excellent. The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Great work. You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Great. Are you a rabbit or a weasel? Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's boat to release the power module. Great job. You've acquired both power modules. This completes your tasks for the night. Please exit the building through Funtime Auditorium, and we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Does that mean I get my pay docked again? If it were me, I'm going through all this shit in this, and they're like, I don't get paid? You know what? I'm gone. Later, guys. I don't need this garbage.
There we go. Was that a complete? Did I die?
recommend that you keep the spring locks wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. Okay. This is one of the things that would be awesome if it had like a biorhythmic sensor. Because then you could have something that actually... Man, I don't... Okay. Okay, since I can't just click it and have it go per click, then I guess I need to <coughs> do them like in order. I don't know. Um, Oh, thanks for the tip. Yes, that would make sense. Knocking them off. And since she's talking about the heartbeat and breathing going and loosening them, it would be awesome if you had like a biorhythmic sensor that actually went and like tracked you and used that to determine how quickly the, the spring locks unwind. Because that would be a, um...
Oh, is that? Oh, there's even ones up there. Okay. You would actually be able to like ha make better progress if you're somebody who does keep a cool head. It would teach you how to like keep calm under pressure. I think it would be an nifty feature. That's all. Damn it, you can just click and hold it and it winds them. Back off, you little fuck nuggets. Yeah, you too, you jerk. Get away from my dick! I don't get it. Whatever. At least, now I know. about the ones up top and I know about like just holding down on it that makes things so much easier It'll be easier to do this part if the my room were darker. See a little more easily. Fuck off, Smeagol. Get away from my eye holes!
Yeah, that's what I was noticing, but... Oh yeah, I forgot. It, okay. Yeah. Keep the 
the spring locks wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, there was one I was reading and it was saying like, yeah, you know, this is like the hardest part of the game is right here, so...
Oh, my stream's dropping. Well, go figure. <laughs> 